Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Smiling Dress 4 here, and welcome back to some more Valkyria Chronicles for the PlayStation 4. As in the last session, we began and completed chapters 2. Well, rather, we completed chapter 2 and then began and completed chapter 3. You know, if we go over here to our uh, little chapter select thing, Baba here on the base of Urban Warfare, it was uh, quite a session to behold. Much longer than I was expecting, and quite a heck to, uh, to edit things together, I'll say that much. So if you guys want to see what happened then, and you haven't already, well make sure to go check out the previous videos in the description's playlist down below, got all six of them, and hopefully they can clear up a few things. And sorry if some of them are a bit, uh, longer than others, or maybe shorter, I don't know. It depends on how I actually did split them up, because I'm not even finished by this point in time. Yeah, I still got some, uh, got some more to do. But anyway, today, we have Chapter 4, Operation Cloudburst, and our first mission is the Internal Strife. We, looks like we got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 things. Like 6 actual story arcs, however you look at them, Matt. And we got one right here that we begin, and then we got the others with their subsections, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know how to summarize it, guys. I really don't. There's not much I can really say about that. So, you know, that, that's things. Now, before we actually do get into that, uh, one thing I'm gonna do, I believe, is this the headquarters? I guess so. Oh! All right, the new features. I forgot all about that. I was not, that wasn't actually what I was coming here for. I was gonna, you know, just, uh, go to the training field and actually level all my characters. But while I'm here, might as well check out this stuff, too. We have Castle Front Station. Read the writing on the wall, publish regularly, or go to the war cemetery. Visit the resting place of those who have fallen in battle. Let's start at the castle front. I'm very curious about this. Hey, Lieutenant! Off duty today? Eh, yeah, sort of. I'm just coming here to, you know, see what's happening. Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Alright. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Is that so? I would have never guessed. Would you guys have? Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? No, not really. Sure. I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. Eh, yeah, that's fair enough. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. Yeah, that's one thing that I don't like about the news. I like to be sh completely straight, you know, no sugarcoating involved. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. Oh, in that case, we might get along, Miss Ellis. Even though you were very nosy last time we met, and by last time I mean the first time we met, and by that I mean end of last session. But I digress. I digress. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this, out of sight from those government goons. Even though they'll probably figure it out eventually? Just, uh, putting that out there? I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And you say that, and then probably someone will come in and censor everything for no apparent reason. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. Will do, Ellis. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I had a bit of a cough in my stomach. Alright, signs of Gallian resistance. What do we got here? An interview given on the 8th, a spokesman from the Central Gallian Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counter-strike brewing. Should this come to pass, all eyes will be on how a force that has thus far specialized in retreat can stem the imperial incursion that claimed most of, uh, of most of Gallia by last month's end, and now stands before the gates of, Ran of Rangris. Whew, that's a long sentence. You know it's big and, you know, strict, ushered in this whole square thing, but still, that's a lot of words. Heck, even Digimon didn't have it, you know, that long per text box. I'm just putting that out there. It seems the militia will join the army proper on this bid to free the capital from a siege, a fear that has persisted for weeks now. 
Some suggest that this move is due to the army's desire to conserve its own manpower for combat within the city's walls. A very real possibility should this plan fail. Gee, thanks for, our for the vote of confidence. Alright, Flames of War Sweep Europa. Also known as Europe, if you cannot figure that out. The Empire owned and run... Wait, the Empire owned and run Terror's news outlet reported on the 6th that Imperial forces have claimed the coastal federation city of Valua. If true, the Empire would now hold a supply route for Ragnite Transit, greatly influencing their standing in southern Europe. A Europa. Unlike the nother, northern provinces, Europa's south lacks four Ragnites, meaning that supplies must be shipped in from elsewhere to sustain the Empire's offensive. The Empire's hold on Europa's southern coast means expansion of the conflict to all areas of the continent is more likely that now than ever before. The Federation has yet to issue a statement regarding the Empire's alleged seizure of Valua at this time. Okay. And while you're here... Hmm? I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. So you also want to be an author? Wait. So you are both a journalist, a radio news person, just a regular news person, the person who creates this writing on the wall, and now you want to be an author. Unless I may be miscategorizing or something, that's five duties for one person. And I'm not trying to see, be sexist or anything, but for a girl, that's not exactly a lot of good things. Heck, I tire myself out just doing this every day. Or doing multiple of these a day. Hence why the one session a day. But that, that's personal stuff. Anyway, what do you have? But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. Yep, that's the, that's the cost of everything. Always. So, I figured I'd ask you. Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? I just figured it out. That, that's why the gold thing is in the top right corner. Okay, I'll buy it. How much? I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. That's not much of a reward, is it? Unless it's something good. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. That's a pretty hefty promise. See this fat stack of notes? Got a ton of material already. No, but I'm going to take your word for it because I do not want to shift through, sift through all that. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. How much? Alex Embedded. 1100 DCC. That piece is on the members of the squad, so... Eh, it's not, it doesn't sound like that much. No, well, why not? Who knows? It may also be something worthwhile. Purchase this interview content? Why the heck not? <laughs> Thanks a million. Yeah, I hope you pay me back someday. Even though you probably won't. Okay. I plan on putting out new additions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. Gotcha. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. I'll... I'll do what I can. Anything else? Nope. So, what happens if I just go back here for whatever reason? Hey! Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good man. Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. We just talked five seconds ago. How's news already traveled that quickly? I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Okay. So then... Just take us back to here. So, come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? So it's just out of max stuff. I was hoping you'd be able to choose between the two, but apparently not. Apparently not. Come back and see the writing on the wall again? Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it, we get it. Okay, now for the War Cemetery. Here's hoping one of our buddies isn't on there. Because I don't remember if anyone died last time. And I don't want to know if anyone died on our team. At least anyone that I know. Paying your respects? Sorry. I suppose that was a foolish question. And your voice is very... interesting. 
Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. I'm trying to see where this place is. I'm very curious. I've never been to a cemetery before. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Thank you. I, uh, do my best. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. Wait, really? An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. Huh. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you sniper support today. Sniper support? If that means my sniper can shoot more efficiently, Sign me up! Use it to request backup from allied snipers to snipe a single enemy target. I guess it also works. Probably will do better than frickin' whoever his name was, I don't even remember. Well, I think it started with an O. What is your decision? Oh, it's a cost is a question. It will cost 65,000 EXP in order to learn the snipe support, and wow, I have just enough. I to be taught it. The thing is, I'm not going to be using orders anytime, but then again, it could come in handy. And I don't, you know, I don't see much reason to actually level up my character, so why not? Learn sniper support. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Alright. So that's basically the experience equipment uh, equivalent of the castle front. So I go here if I just want to spend, you know, money on journal entries and all that. Or I can go here to get skills, assuming they pop up. Actually, let's head over, over, over here again and see if there's anything, uh, anything new. I think the other one did, so why wouldn't this one? Hello again, son. No, it was just this. I'm sorry, but I have nothing I can teach you now. Work at making the last one yours. I hope we'll meet again. Alright. So this is literally here only if you have if there's a new skill for you, so that's uh maybe it's just something else. Uh but no then. Again, originally I was gonna come here for the training field because, you know, uh improving my my combats would be or my combatants would be a good thing. But now, do spot barracks, change equipment or view uniform. I'll do that in my free time maybe. I guess we can go to the R&D facility and buy some new stuff here. Welkin, bro! I'm stoked you're here, man! What can I do you for? I don't know if I'm not just here to develop weapons and tanks and all that. Yeah, just the usual. So what do we have here? So we already maxed that out, took care of the machine guns, anti-tank lances, sniper rifles. Can't do the hand grenades, we've done the uniforms, the blast suits. Oh, no, that's the maximum thing. Okay, so the eagle vice then. Body enhancements. Anti-armor shell. That's about that. Oi. Alright, I gotta got click this stuff to actually... Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, let me read this. Okay. Reinforce the body. Plus 300 body HP. Tread plus 200. 50 tread defense. That's pretty decent. This has 60 plus tur with persons. But in 200 in armor. And it's good against anti-armor rounds, but... It's, that's expensive. What about this stuff? Well, I'm definitely gonna buy this one for for a start. The more HP we have, the better. All set for you, bro. It's done. Thanks, bro. 
And then, unless there's anything better in here. Side upgrade, bulletproof visor. Eh. Actually, that could come in handy. Here you go, bro. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, I can equip in a different in a spot. Okay. So it's a little like patch cap thing. Uh, let's see. Does it matter, I guess? I guess it'll just put it right there then. Okay, so that's... Yeah, that's interesting. I was not expecting that kind of thing to happen. But I'll take it. Alright, spare shred, plus 50 HP, block size now. Oh, that's why. It's got block size. Oh, and you're limited, huh? That could be interesting. Ah, uh, but no, I'm not gonna worry about that. I guess that's everything here. I guess I'll buy this then. Just for the sake of having, you know, some anti-armor around. Found uh, armor. This one's perfect, bro. And then I'm just gonna save up for the next time we need something else. Yeah, we did shreds, we did the attack support. That's everything. Can we offer the tanks themselves? Oh, so this is where you actually Okay, so that makes sense then. You come here to change the parts when you actually have them. This makes things easier. Okay then. Okay, 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 okay. <coughs> <coughs> Man, so what's with these cops lately? Ugh. So odd to me. Okay. I think I spent enough time in here. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. I will, Leo, I will. Because again, I like being, you know, prepared for this kind of stuff. I really do. But okay, let's head on back to the book. Oh. New episode and new report have been added. The personal tab has been updated. Okay. I was going to tell you which one actually he did get. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, I guess. Skirmishes. No? He said there was a new episode unlocked. So there has to be something. Uh, is that also personal? If it is, then... Mm. Oh. I don't... Right, menu. I want to get used to that thing. It's weird to me. Just to use that triangle button instead of the circle button. Reminds me of another game I played in the few, uh, a while back. I can't remember what it was, unfortunately. Uh, weaponry. Eh. Uh, let's just go to chapter selector, I guess, then. Oh! Embedded. Oh! Okay, then. So apparently, we got a bonus section. Consider me surprised. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm game. What's this about? Alright, then. Let the interviews begin! Let's see what we're dealing with here. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. That's what is Bridget. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. But why? Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right. The tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now well, that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> You couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troops somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? 
<laughs> well then? The truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. <laughs> 